Uh, even, this, even this show, I gotta take it off. I was prancing around in my underwear last night for three hours. That's not good enough. All right, I understand. That's okay. Like. Sex on Fire is not from a Broadway show. We're not going to get that today. I'm sorry. Maybe we should play that tonight. I uh, lip sync it on the Leo deck. Yeah. Uh, so, here I am. It's on. I'm a theater guy. Going to get a scholarship to some college and just theater. basketball after school at a public school in Boston and somebody calls and says, do you know any white kids that can sing and dance? So I happen to be the only white kid that could sing and dance in Jamaica Plain, apparently. And they said, call this lady. I was like, he was like, she's from Dorchester. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I never been to do it It's like Oz to me. I was like, I can't know. I've never been beyond the yellow brick road before. And I was like, nope. And then she called back. Apparently, I don't know, the woman who answered the phone, they finally asked me again. And the clincher, I think, with all of us, the, the great... Uh, Qualifier for for meeting Maury Star was that he started a new edition. You know, and that was, yeah, what? You know, excuse me. Um, so I said, yeah, sure. And uh, they they came to Mary Alford, God love her, M. Lou. Um, she came to Jamaica Plain, and I was with a buddy, my buddy John, John Chine. You might know him. Um, He's not on Twitter or anything. But, uh, so uh, he came along and uh, and we met and then we went over to Maurice's house, which we all have, all the new kids have the story about first meeting Maurice and going up to this the attic floor of a three floor like burned out brick building in Roxbury and somehow believing in this guy, but he was, he was a, he was a sweet guy, you know, he was really sweet, and I went in, and, uh, it was very unceremonious, you know, um, it was like an orange shag rug, it's probably still there today, I remember that, and, uh, but he said, well, sing a song, and so, you, you sing what you know, so I picked a Nat King Cole song, I didn't think, Cool It Now or Candy Girl is the right way to go. <laughs> my strength. So, this is the one song, not Sex on Fire, but like, it's not a Broadway uh, song, but, but uh, this is the turning point. This is when it, when it all went awry, ladies and gentlemen. When I sang this song, for me, the shit hit the fan and my, my Broadway career was trash. <laughs> I was stuck in this band for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah! It's tough. It's tough, you know? I'm just waiting for our big break and... Anyways. All right, so it's a great song. I hope you like it.